Alibaba. How's everyone today? We stay a night at Bolu. Bolu is situated in northwestern Turkey, between the capital Ankara and Istanbul. The winter in Bolu is amazing. A lot of snow covers the whole city. is about two hours drive from Bolu. It is the capital city of Turkey. Ankara is a residential and political city, a lot quieter and more organized compared to Istanbul. The first stop for us is to visit the Atatürk's mausoleum, where ancient and modern architectural concepts testify to the power and grace of Turkish architecture took place. In front of the Independence Tower, there is a statue group of three women in Turkish national costume. The woman in the middle covering her face with her hand is crying. This group represents the pride of the Turkish women and their solemnity and determination, even in grief and hardship. The buildings here are impressive. The museum is worth visiting to understand how important Atatürk is to Turkey. The place is spacious and huge. Lots of walking and you will see Atatürk, also known as the father of Turkey, his car and gun carriage used. Road of Lions were a long pedestrian walkway that is lined on both sides by 12 pairs of stone carved lions. We also saw the changing of the guard walking in the compound. I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. The architecture here is modern. The Atatürk mausoleum sits high on a hilltop in Ankara city. There are staircases which are grand, especially before you enter the mausoleum. The building here is one of Turkey's most prominent examples of mid-20th century architecture and also an important symbol honouring Atatürk and the birth of the Turkey Republic. Next, we proceed to Cappadocia. This place is famous for hot air balloon rides and the enchanting caves and the rock formations. Now, Cappadocia means land of beautiful horses. The Persians took over the area and they were amazed by something that inspired the name of the city. That is the horses. These days, you won't see wild horses in Cappadocia as the means of transportation has evolved. Now, colorful hot air balloons fill the sky during sunrise. There are many underground cities in Cappadocia with over 200 in this region. And the underground cities of Kamaki and Derenguyu the most popular and visited ones. The underground city was built to protect its inhabitants from wars and religious persecutions. It is able to protect 20,000 people. 
Inside, you see large stone doors to prevent invaders, which I don't think you can lift up and close easily because it looks super heavy. You'll pass by stables, storage rooms, former homes, a church, and the communal kitchens. The underground city was rediscovered by accident in 1963. When the residents in the area carried renovations on the modern home, that led to the opening of a cave passage to the tunnel system. Homemade organic Cappadocia doors are sold by the villagers out of the underground city. These doors, which are reflecting the clothing culture of the region, are also a source of livelihood for local women. Cappadocia doors also promote the region's culture. It symbolizes the people, life and culture of the region in the best way. Cappadocia is carved right out of the rock. People have been living in this cave dwellings for thousands of years. One of the most interesting experiences you can have in this town is staying in cave hotel. The cave hotel has an incredible view from the top, delicious food, in a comfortable room. So depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Tell me that I can and I won't. That's what guides me the most. You lies, I'll do what I want. Turkey yogurt is salty, called aran, packed with electrolytes. It's a tasty and refreshing drink, and it's a good source of calcium, protein, and probiotics too. One of the must-try is the kebabs consisting of chunks of marinated beef. Now my final thoughts for you. You learned about the modern history of Turkey in Ankara, the capital city of Turkey. I've been to Turkey twice. Ten years ago, I came once. Ankara city was not as organized as today. Traffic was chaos and roads are narrow. Now, Ankara is well organized with new roads and smooth traffic. The city is built with many new homes and new government buildings. The whole city looks pretty pleasant and new now. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. The underground city is an eye-opening visit. It is a small city underground 80 meters deep, step into the life of early Christians hiding from persecution. It is unbelievable that people could carve out a place to live. 
diligently carrying out a buckets of rock, hiding their existence. You find a stable, church, a school in this underground city. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic. Anyone visiting this place will completely love it. Finally, when you visit Cappadocia, it is best to stay in one of the cave hotels and experience it yourself. Enjoy Ankara and Cappadocia in Turkey. If you still want to see more of my travel story, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.